After an oil refinery explodes, it exposes the home of three strange but intelligent creatures that love to drink oil. These strange life forms are found by Tri Trip, a teenager that has a ton of family issues where he hides them, that is the creatures, by putting them in regular trucks. But after the business and scientists find out that their squid whales are missing, they chase after Trip and his not girlfriend Meredith before they can take the creatures back home near the oil refinery. I, however, believe that the enjoyment of this film is expressed easily in this beginning of this video because there is no joy in watching this film. It is a dismal tone death adventure that lacks dynamic characters, has a strange setting, and has a plot that feels like it came from a five year old. To start, the movie lacks a dynamic character. Trip, for instance, has some family issues, like wanting to be loved by his dad while also feeling like his stepfather, the cop kind of dude, thinks he is a troublemaker. It becomes apparent that he does not go through any real changes because he destroys his father's house when he realizes his dad still doesn't love him, and he doesn't really solve his issues with his stepfather either. The movie wants one to think that the creatures help Trip make a change, be, uh, but because all Trip wants is an opportunity to stay busy, it keeps Trip pretty flat. Fun fact, I actually forgot the main character's name, and I had to look it up. Huh. What a trip. Next, the setting does little to help the movie. The small town cliche mixed with an evil oil businessman is not intriguing and it leaves the watcher feeling like they are watching a scathing advertisement rather than commentary on oil businessmen. Moreover, the school is super empty, which breaks the audience's immersion. Juxtaposed with the oil re refinery, it makes little to no sense why a small town would have such a massive scientific lab and a massive car lot in the same town. It is a strange setting that tries to be a small town with the convenience of having what it is needed for the plot. Speaking of the plot, it feels like it was written by a five-year-old. <laughs> In fact, Adam Goodman, the used-to-be president of Paramount, developed the original idea for the film along with his son, who, by the way, was four at the time of this filming. Four. This means that at a $125 million film was co-developed by someone that is a little bit younger than my son. The plot that the duo came up with is one where the three whale squid hybrids were found drinking oil and living off the fat of the land that was before the evil businessmen decided that they wanted to keep the creatures for themselves. The plot does not go into detail as to why they wanted them other than because. Moreover, the way that the movie ends, where two of the three creatures had no experience being driven as a truck, somehow magically learned to do so because the plot needed them to. And the fact that the creatures were okay with being driven, that's really strange to say, is both confusing and dangerous. Notice that I haven't even got over the relationship between Trip and Meredith, who the audience is supposed to think would make a cute couple by the end of the movie. <laughs> there is also a character that is shoehorned in because he is ha ha. Also a character that is shoehorned in because he is the ha ha funny relief character, but he isn't funny. And his only purpose of the film is to have a truck dealership so Trip and his not girlfriend can take the squid wheels back to the oil refinery that exploded at the beginning. Wow. This film is abysmal. It has flat characters that have no redeeming qualities, a setting that doesn't know if it is a small town or a wealthy business district, and a plot that has that was co-developed by a four-year-old. This film is so horrible that not only did it fail at the box office, losing over a hundred million dollars, but it cost Adam Goodman his job. Do not let a child see this film. Or, just like Goodman, that child will feel resentment for the remainder of his days. I highly recommend not seeing this film. Just don't do it. Okay?